My name is Heather Herbold and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Coming in and meeting everybody that you, you know, you're on the discussion boards with them and you get to meet the professors in person and put a face to the name, just all the hands on everything. It's a whirlwind week, both weeks, but you get a lot done and that's the component that none of the other schools have. And I think that's what makes this program very unique. We've been really hitting the electricity components really hard. So it's been nice to be able to put our hands on everything and see, okay, this is what happens when you put this together this way. That's why it doesn't work. Or this is why something failed. We were looking at what was this exercise. So you take burned things and try to figure out what it was just by looking at the components that remain in the fire debris. This has windings, so this must have been a motor of some kind, or this has little heating elements, so this had something that gets hot. So you can go from there and look at the mushed up shape. And it may take you years to see what you can see here in a week, which is what I like. Because all these burned piles of things, I mean, who's going to keep that and save it and show you? Probably never. Last year, we did our first ever on our own fire investigation. And we did two of them. And the one is what we're testifying on for the courtroom component this year. So they set up a scenario where something's been burned furniture and they don't tell us what anything about it. They come up with a role play scenario where we have to go track down each professor and find out what their role is in this scenario. And they read their script and we have to pretend that it's a real fire and just like, you know, in, out, if you're out there doing it on your own, you have to go out there and start asking questions and, you know, get some background and some factual data and work it out. And then you collect your data from the scene and you analyze it and you start trying to figure out where in the room the fire began. And then you have to, you know, once you get your origin, then you have to sit there and start thinking about what caused it. So you have to figure out with what you've got, come down to the bottom of it. So the culmination of this week is we present our case in actual court here in Richmond, Kentucky, in front of Judge Earl Ray Neal. And Dr. Gorbett is the defense expert against us. We had learned all the different components involved with performing an investigation. We learned photography, we learned sketching, calcination measurements, depth of char measurements, about different fire effects and fire patterns, and thinking about ventilation and ventilation openings and everything. And then we got to put that all together with our fire scene. And then after that, we learned all about the legal aspects of being in fire investigations your amendment rights, your civil rights, criminal process for law, and thinking about all that, and then having to put it all together with this courtroom component. It just reinforces everything that we've learned in the books, online, through the videos. I personally don't see any replacement for hands-on learning. It is hard to leave for a week, and it's something that's just invaluable. It's worth it, it really is.